Hello viewers, welcome to yet another episode of our uh, YouTube tutorial videos. In this episode today, we are going to learn how to equip uh, uh, the sitting room with the different furniture, equipment and even various decorations that we uh, come across in the Archicad world. So before we proceed, I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you may learn more and even not miss any our any of our uh, future incoming updates so today let us start by first uh, making the the sitting room uh, visible to us that is by zooming in and to see the entire area that we will be equipping with the the different aesthetic uh, appliances so once we have noted this area that we have we are going to go to the object tool well we'll click on that then we come to the settings dialogs uh, then we'll click on that to see the various uh, items that we'll have to to position so for this matter i'll come to the first by the the basics well go to the coaches and sofas i'll click on that then inside that dialog box i'll be able to select which kind of uh, design sofa that i have for my for my uh, sitting room then for me i'll i'll, I'll go for a, a, a particular layout so i'll go for the furniture layout i'll click on it and see the kind of uh, layout that i want so i'll start by the dining table uh, uh, rectangle dining table rectangle so i'll go to the dining table rectangle and click on it then i'll come and click ok there so i'll i'll position it i'll position it somewhere somewhere there then first of all we, before we even proceed i'll i'll wish that we we understand that the, the the sizes of the furniture are also pegged on the size of the room so in this case we selected that because uh, the, the the size is uh, fundamentally ideal for this room and then again in case of anything we can able to visualize it uh, via 3d to see whether it is too small or even uh too big for for that particular room so i'll go to 3d that is rotate and see how that dining uh, room is coming along as you, as you can see this furniture the, it is comparatively small so what we'll do is we'll enlarge it we'll increase its sizes so we'll go back there and then i'll increase the size i'll increase the the, the width by say uh i'll increase the width by two by by 400 so that will be 3000 then this one uh the length will be let me say 2000 i think that is ideal then i'll click on it then we'll also visualize it on 3d and as you can see that a bit uh, now sizable it can it is it is evident so i'll i'll just uh, move it slightly away from the wall by clicking on it and then right clicking then go to move tool and then you'll drag it so you will just bring it somewhere there yes so i think that is okay then we can also visualize it and now you can see something evident then from there we'll go to the 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 the, the coaches so that is the sofa layout then we'll uh, click on that then I'll, I'll position it somewhere here next to the window then i'll move it a bit it's it's proximity to the wall should be around 10 Oh, around 10 there so we'll click on that and i'll drag 
yeah i think that is okay then we'll also visualize it via 3d you see how it's coming along so you can see that uh, it's better then the next thing is we'll also have still on the object tool we'll also check for any other decorations so i'll go to decorations I click on it I look at uh, let me start with a the carpet then i'll do i'll adjust it a bit say 2000 then this should be 1000 and that is okay then I'll, I'll, I'll click on it there so that means that I'll, I'll have to adjust the size I'll just do it so that it covers maybe about a quarter of the, the, the area there sorry So I'll change I'll change the dimensions. Don't worry. So I'll change the dimensions. Come and see that should be twice for let me say four thousand. Then this one will also be something like six thousand. Then we'll click OK. Then we'll 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 drag it now to the relevant position. Sorry. select it first then I'll use the move tool then drag it somewhere there let me see mm. or what I can do I can easily uh, rotate Yes. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is that I'll I'll place the the carpet first. So I'll move it away first. the carpet first then I'll I can now drag yes then I'll drag it back to this sorry I want to rotate uh, the the sofa arrangement first so that it can be so I'll so, sorry I'll rotate this Ninety degrees. Make sure it's ninety. Then I can now now uh, move it to the right place. Yes, I think that is now quite okay. You can check it on three D. Believe that it's coming out well. 
then we'll go back to other decorations you can check on chairs I can check on a standalone chair somewhere. So mm. Yeah, so I think I can take an armchair. Click sorry. Check on an armchair. Check on this. Then I'll click OK. Then I can position it somewhere there. Of course, I have to rotate it. So then I'll easily rotate it by 90 degrees. Make sure it's 90. Then I click OK. And check on the 3D. The size is a bit small, so we can adjust the size. And now these are 800, and this one as 900. I think that is okay now. Uh, yeah. So. Let's see this as nine hundred dollars. I think it's no special enough. So the the next thing that we'll have is uh, other decorations. So we can have the cabinets. Can have a bookshelf here. Sorry, can have a bookshelf where I don't have a bookshelf just at the almost next to the window somewhere there so I'll first rotate it if I check on the size move tool then go to rotate click on it specify a line 90 degrees then you can easily rotate that to 90 degrees make sure it's 90 yeah. click ok then you can now uh, drag it to next to the wall use the drag tool and just position it so that it can flash with, with the wall. You can even zoom in to make sure you got in the, the exact point. You can check it on 3D. So we'll adjust that. So it should be at zero. Should be zero off the wall. Then this should be 800. And let me put this as 1600 and then I'll click OK so we'll check yeah I think now it's coming out well then The next thing that we'll also look at is still on the the cabinets. We'll have can still have uh, uh, let me let me look.
look at something like a wood uh, cabinet Let's see you can have a wall cabinet there okay. you can have a wall cabinet somewhere here let us make some readjustments so you can change the size to 1500 then the the weight should be 500 and then we'll click ok then we'll rotate it using the rotate tool we'll specify a distance then you can easily rotate that the next thing is to move it sorry you need to move it so that it flashes through the wall that's ok so we look at it okay then you can have now uh, certain decorations or appliances so decorations you can even you can take a clock just the size of it so we have uh, let it be 400 and that should be 30 then we click ok so we can place it just place it here so we'll rotate it first then move it to the wall we'll look at it sorry then we will check on this clock I think uh, there is an obstruction so we will drag it away from from that then bring it somewhere there and check on 3D so as you can see we have uh, the the clock is right below so we can do some adjustments We'll click on it. Then go here and specify this as uh, 1100. I think that is an ideal height. Then we check. Still a bit low. So we can also... Have that as... Uh, 1500 Let's see it again yeah so I think, I think that is okay I 
something that is okay. Mm. Let me adjust it a bit. Seventeen hundred. And then I think that is now the final uh, height. Yeah, that should be the final height. So, uh, that is just a sneak preview of. Uh, what our sitting room can entail So I believe uh, you can check this arrangement on it's as simplistic as possible but uh, I believe there are necessary adjustments that we can make in our in our next tutorial video so please look out for our next tutorial video so that we can uh, finish on the the decorations and other uh, equipment that we can have in place for now uh, let us leave it at that and you have a good day. Thank you.